What's going on boys? No guys here, welcome back to another video. Now in today's video we're going to go over the tactics setup for uh, this week in League if you're pushing towards rank 1. Um, just in case you're wondering, this server is a bit of a shambles this weekend League, that's why this video came out late. Uh, I've not played yet, uh, I believe it's because of the, the new Battlefield game. Um, and I think it probably will cost the servers for the next couple of weeks or so. Um, but I'm going to introduce my new tactics video. I'm going to go through them each individual. I'm going to show you the tactics and instructions for all of them. Um, so get your pen ready or whatever you normally do or your screenshots. Obviously not with my face in there, but get screenshot the main bit um, and uh, we'll go straight into it. So... Um, the 4-3-3 third version, this is my ultra defensive formation. Um, this will be the formation that I'll be using, of course, if I'm winning 1 or 2 nil, and it's time to close up shop. I'm talking about 70-80 minutes, my opponent starts going ultra attacking. Um, I've explained this in the video, so e for each of these videos, uh, each of these formations, I have a video on my channel already regarding that. Um, this has replaced the 4 2 3 1 as my ultra defensive formation, because I wanted something more defen defensive. Um, so we've gone with it. I had this formation last year, it worked very, very well for me, so I put it again this year. Um, as we know, of course, the centre mid, you sub him off and he drops in between, and that makes the back line of five and two CDMs. Uh, people are asking why I'm not using three defender formations or five defender formations. It's because they don't have CDMs, they only have centre mids. And the only one that has CDMs is the 5-3-2, but of course, when you're attacking, or when you have position of the ball with a 3-5-2, you can't have the left mid and right mid to stay back while attacking they can only come back on defense so that is the reason why we've done it is so that way you create a back line of five when you go forward and you avoid the counter attacks um so um this is my team i sub off um this these two guys so i'll get on to that later on um, i'll explain to that but i sub those two guys with dembele and lucas so that's the 433 that's the tactics I'm going to go through the instructions, of course, just uh, pause this and that way. So what well, I would recommend watching this video first, understand the reasonings and then later on, uh, turn your PlayStation Xbox on and just watch this video and you can pause through this and you can basically copy it directly. It just saves me going over the same thing every single week. So, of course, I don't want to make these videos 30 minutes long. Um, now the 4 2 3 one, just some very minor changes. We put forward runs back on just because of delay. Um, I've also made this a bit more attacking than, than usual. So you got rid of the comeback and defense on a lamb and a ram. Um, so this will still be the most, don't forget the 4 2 3 one is still the best formation in the game. So I normally start with the 4 2 3 one, but uh, sometimes you need to be ultra defensive. I don't want everyone to come back and defense the entire game. So that's why we have the 4 3 3 in as well. So this is a very this is the formation I use for most of the game. If I'm going into a game, um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'll start with this formation first, and then I'll then progressively change after. I'll explain to you how you progressively change throughout the formations and how you can use them for different segments in the in the game and in play. Uh, but for, slow build up play still very effective. Forward runs width we made it to 60 as I mentioned in last week's video, and the width and depth stay the same. Um, if you want to, you can go ahead and put pressure on every touch. And if you want us to be a bit more aggressive, that's completely up to you. Um, instructions, stay forward, get it behind, stay forward for the striker. I, I switch between balanced and get it behind. It depends on delay. Um, honestly, like if, if it's bad delay, I try to put get it behind. Um, if it's not bad delay, I put on balance because I want the ball coming to my feet. But it just depends. Um, I think I've explained this already on those walkthroughs. Um, Cam is stay forward, get into the box for a cross. Um, same as last time and lamb and ram both on balance again get into the box for a cross again lucas mora and um then bella gets subbed on over here i need it for chemistry for corona and that is the reason why um two cdms on cut passing lane stay back while attacking cover center feel free to put one of your center mids on balanced if you want to um that way he can go forward or you can put him on get forward if you want Left back, right back on, stay back while attacking, conservative and overlap, the exact same thing as usual. Now, if you're part of my Patreon series, you would see, for example, how to use the 4-2-3-1 in game. I have a complete walkthrough and I have my all, I have actually a live commentary of all my playoffs game on my Patreon right now. So if you want to see how I how I think about my playoff games, how I go about them, how I use my formation changes, um, I've got one of those videos on my Patreon. Um, then we go over to the 3-5-2, the attacking formation um, of, of the four. Um, normally I would stay in this formation, but let's say, for example, if I am can, if I'm down two nil and I don't need to press, let's say it's fifty minutes, but I need to get some goals. I like to have a more attacking formation. I want to have two strikers. That's for which I go to the three five two. Um, 
I'm just trying to remember. It's the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation I had there before. And uh, the 4 3 2 one Feel free to use whatever you want. I mean, you don't have to actually copy my exact setup. Again, I upload these videos. I know many of you guys like to copy them. Um, updated style. That's completely fine. But if you just use mine as a template, um, you can use it whatever you want. Um, but uh, I would just say make sure it's a wide formation because this is quite a narrow. This is a narrow-ish formation. I'm not going to say it's a narrow. It's quite a wide. It's balanced formation to be honest. But um, make sure you ideally have one that's quite wider and have you have two strikers. And I'll be honest. I'm doing a two strike formation of like 442 or 412 on two second variation. So you can go something like that. But either one, you can replace this. I've still gone with a 352, balance 45, 60, long wall 4 and 55, and players in the box five. Now, the width I've been playing around with it, going back to 60, going back to 65, 55, I've still not decided. I'll be honest, I've still not decided. I'm chopping and changing things after patches, just seeing what's happening, seeing how everyone else changes their gameplay. Because don't forget, Tactics change not really too much due to the patches because the change to the formations and tactics are normally happen in the first couple of months, like at this stage. Um, but as time goes on, the way people play FIFA changes, and that's why tactics change. And if everyone finds out that as soon as everyone finds out the chip shot meta, you'll know that from my Patreon, or you know, or you know that from my um, oh no, about the straight dribbling sprint exit meta, then everyone's gonna stop abusing that. So then the way you defend will change. So all these things influence how the game and how tactics change on a weekly basis. So uh, it's not directly patches itself, but it's more of how the game is going, um, the delay of the servers, and more importantly, how your opponents play. You have to always adapt to your opponents. Um, we have got rid of the player on comeback and offense. Yes, there was an issue um, with one of the center mids coming back and um, going into the center. I, I was aware of this. Um, I tried it on both ends. It seems to be a glitch. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've not discovered it yet of how to fix it permanently, um, but when I do, I'll let you know. But for now, we kept them all on stay central, stay forward. The only reason why we leave this guy on getting behind and stay forward is because he's sometimes out of position sometimes. I've mentioned this in my review on him. Um, on the cam, we got him on stay forward, get into the box for a cross. Normally, Dembele comes on here, and then... Um, and both left mid and right mid have come back in the fence, get into the box and get in behind. Of course, you can use stay wide if you forget about hug the sidelines. Um, but I use hug the sidelines. I just leave these guys unbalanced. If I need them to be wider, I can do so using hug the sidelines. Uh, one, see them on cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking cover center. The other one on cut passing lanes, cover center and balance. Now, if you feel that he's got bad work rates, just feel free to put get forward on. Um, and you, of course, you have one more player going forward. And that way you create that numerical advantage up against your opponents, 4-2-3-1 CDMs and 4 backline 4. In fact, the idea is you want to match him up with his back 4 and you want to have excess 2 players running in um, against his 2 CDMs to create the numerical advantage, um, especially in the free form of play. Um, le um, left centre back and right centre back, don't forget, um, don't put any of these on, just put overlap. Everyone keeps asking me, do I put player striker? No, just put overlap on. And what this basically means is that if they do make the run, they'll be a bit on a wider side. But when you're attacking, they're a bit wider anyway. So it's a bit better for build-up play. So you can always do the one, two back from your right mid, of course, all the way to your right centre back. Um, and nothing else is changed, I believe, from there. And um, that is probably the perfect 352. I can't find any other reason to change. And then we have the 442. Um, the same. I'm thinking. It's, mm, it's the same. I mean, I'm not gonna. I mean, I've been experimenting with a few things as I mentioned to you. I'm actually using the 442 a lot more because I don't have that much time to play the game. I only get a bit of time because most of my time is not made. It's, it's like testing the game, and like when you test the game, I can't really test it in a normal game. Like you know, write down notes. I've got to play everything on balanced, so I never really use. Um, game actual like streaming or when i stream on twitch to test the game i just kind of get my games done quickly um so i normally go to the 442 uh to be very very aggressive um so i would recommend this if you're a, a good defender i normally start in 442 but this is the formation that if i'm losing uh one or two now i need to start applying pressure same as usual um uh, if i'm really losing i can and this i change this around 65 70 minutes if it's two nil down and it's 75 minutes i then press down the d-pad press left and activate teammate, um, team press, should I say. 
and that way my players um, they go into constant pressure game mode basically the same as constant pressure of course you can turn this on if you want to as well um, and likewise you can copy the exact instructions um, again I have both my strikers on comeback and offense but just because of this guy his position is a bit mess I put him on stay forward get him behind um, left mid right mid come back and offense get him behind and get into the box for a cross one center mid stay by while taking the edge of the box come to center the other one get forward get into the box conservative and cover center I got rid of free roam I don't like it um, I was trying it out um, I just find that free roam is only good for like a center mid that you don't really pass that you don't really want inside the box I want this guy to be going forward inside the box kind of like a second strike as opposed to lingering around over here I don't really want that so I remove free roam but if you like free roam again you can keep it. Remember, you tailor this to your own play style. Left back, right back, stay back while attacking. Conservative overlap. You can always turn on attack and four backs if you want to in the game. Um, as I mentioned, those are my tactics. Um, and that is my team. I'm just doing it like this. Um, so I'm keeping Rodrigo to give the chemistry to Lorente. He's too good. I can't get rid of Lorente. My, my opinion, the best center mid in the game um, so far. A gold card, to be honest. I don't think anyone's really just too good. Like, honestly, he's an absolute joke. So good, I have to get him back into the team. So he gets subbed off. Excuse me, purely just for chemistry. Uh, we have him over there. And um, in terms of the anti kickoff tactic, of course, you can use that as well. Um, don't forget with our anti kickoff tactic, you can put everyone on comeback and offense. And that way um, you don't get counter attacked. Um, this is just to put, avoid that counter attack situation. Um, as I mentioned over there and of course in this situation I put a Yenka as center mid um, because I think this is for chemistry purpose only so I don't actually use this formation in game um, as you can see that's my starting formation for chemistry I then change to one of the formations in game so I don't use this tactic this is only like if my opponent kicks off first it's my basically my anti kickoff tactic I think I've gone through this already in my other video but this is the formation I use if my opponent kicks off I can have an anti tactic a kickoff tactic formation that way I don't get kick off and then I change to one the following I normally start on the 4-2-3-1 and then if I am winning let's say let's say for example from I normally it depends on your skill level you might find that you're losing half the time and you might be on 4-4-2 the entire game you might find that you're good enough to play 4 2 3 on the entire game but for the average majority of you you would start on 4 2 3 1 and you would change if for example you are winning in the game you're still in this formation or if it's coming towards the end of the game you can switch to your ultra defensive formation and close out the game if you're on 4 2 3 1 but you're losing 2 0 but you're struggling um you can then go to the 3 5 2 the 3 5 2 is a much more attacking formation isn't the best press formation but it's one that i think single hand is the best attacking formation in the game you'll never get a better balanced attacking formation than this um, 3 5 2 use a normal game and then if at that situation I go back to 1 1 or I'm winning again then of course I go back to 4 2 3 1 then the last couple of minutes I close it out um, but let's say I'm on 3 uh, 3 5 2 my opponent is wasting time he's parking the bus lobbing it from 4 back to 4 back um, and I need to start pressing then I go to the 4 4 2 so this is my ultra attacking formation this one I need to get the ball and need to get the win as soon as I can I go 4 4 2 and I go team press if I need to to aid it otherwise press out the possession loss it's pretty much fine as is and again if I draw if I end up going 2-2 I don't continue on this formation I go back to the 4-2-3-1 so you can understand the point I'm um, ultra defensive um, normal attacking and then ultra attacking is the layout um, of that anyway I hope you enjoyed this video um, that is my tactics and formation video um, I don't think I'll, I think realistically in my opinion I'll be making some changes to the formations here and there I don't think I'll be changing the setup anytime soon um, I'm, I'll just do some new formations in um, so you can of course try them out but this is going to be my weekly setup so um, if you want to copy it uh, feel free to do so but anyway guys hope you enjoy this video uh, thank you very much if you're watching this by the time watches, I should be streaming on Twitch around about this time anyway because I need to uh, uh, finish my games up anyway guys thanks for watching take it easy and of course I'll catch you next time peace out boys